talk to you about why you matter and, and why you have to do what you do. A lot of actors, we hear all the time, actors are going to, actors, writers, and directors actually are going to complain about, oh, I don't get enough work or, you know, casting directors aren't calling me in. And, and then you always ask them, well, when was the last time you worked? And they'll say, well, six months ago I did a commercial. And the deal is, why? Why aren't you doing this every day? You have the equipment in your pocket right now to be doing this every single day. Don't waste any more time sitting around talking about it, sitting around waiting for somebody to give you your big break. Your big break isn't going to come. What's going to come is when you are an actor who's being creative or a writer or a director and you're doing it every day. You're working this thing every day. Yeah, people are chasing the holy grail. Mm -hmm. You know, they're waiting for that breakthrough. Um, and, and the thing is, sometimes a breakthrough does come, you know, but you're not going to be able to, to take it. You're not going to be ready unless you're doing this every day, unless you're practicing, like everything in life, you know, whatever you choose to do in life. It takes practice yeah. for you to become good at what you do. So stop chasing the holy grail, you mm -hmm. know, put yourself out there every day and create and practice your art, yeah. you know, your craft. And um, don't be so concerned about, you know, being perfect. A lot of people yeah. are waiting you know, I don't know what that means, but to become ready or, or right. perfect. Right. The right money, the right time or whatever, or, or I don't want to do a job unless it's perfect. Yeah. Exactly. And and that's a waste of time, you know. I think it's a big thing with the younger generations, you know, mm -hmm. this perfectionism. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to hold you back mm -hmm. because you're never, you know, it's you're never going to be really great at what you do unless you do it every day. And that involves failure. It involves yeah. making mistakes, yeah. you know, but once you get that out of your way, then you're just enjoying, mm -hmm. you know, what you like doing. Yeah, what you love to do. You love telling stories. You love acting, writing, and directing. Well, why aren't you doing it every day? And get used to the fact that mastery of anything is going to be a long series of baby steps, little things that you're going to do on your own. Any, any artist in the world throughout history will tell you that's the process. It doesn't just arrive one day on your doorstep. You, you've got to be doing this every day consistently. You know, take that iPhone out and and tape that crazy dream you had the other day. Get together with friends and put on a play in your apartment, a small play in your apartment. Be doing this. Create a consistency in your work and and look at this again not as failures oh that terrible i know you're going to look at that video and go oh my god okay <laughs> and the deal is no look at it like i learned something today i've learned something about lighting today because i played around with that camera last night keep that going and that creates the momentum that's going to be necessary when that opportunity does come and i know a lot of you know artists writers and actors we see so many people every week every mm -hmm. month hundreds of artists and a lot of them are stuck waiting for that you know creative moment to arrive like oh i would like to write this amazing feature film but i don't know what to write the thing is that if you're not doing it every day mm -hmm. it's probably not going to come and if it does you're not going to be able to have that consistency that jock was talking about yeah. of sitting down every day and and writing a feature film mm -hmm. you know because it takes that you know practice and 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 the technique that's that's what's involved in these babies in these baby steps you yeah. know doing this thing every day you're going to get the technique just second nature you know mm -hmm. it's going to become second nature so when you do have those amazing inspirational moments mm -hmm. you know your your instrument is going to be ready to act on that, on those. People are going to tell you all kinds of reasons why this isn't going to work. Oh, you don't have the right equipment. You don't have any money. What do you think you're doing? Making not the right thing. agent. Not not the the, right, you know. Yeah, not the right yeah. agent or casting directors and things like that. There's going to be lots of critics out there that tell you why you can't do this. Don't listen to that. You can do it right now. Uh, you have everything more than any time in history, <laughs> boy, what you have access to in terms of that. Such a privilege. I know the camera that's in your phone. Directors would have died for that just five years ago. So start doing this thing now. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about the failures. Always look at them as learning experience. And don't be your own worst qu critic. Yeah. Don't be the person that says, I'm not going to do it because, well, okay. Don't do that. Just do it right now. 
that's going to determine your success as a storyteller. And you're going to understand that, you know, uh, what you're looking for, that special meaning, you know, that you're trying to bring to your life about some people think of, mm -hmm. oh, I, I want to be an actor because I love telling stories and they'll imagine themselves winning an Oscar or uh, working with their favorite director. And that's all very good. Uh, however, you can't live in that, you know, yeah. place. You have to enjoy doing this every day because that's reality, you yeah. know. It's doing the little baby steps every day, enjoying the process yeah. and not so much the result. The result's like a bonus, something yeah. extra, yeah. you know. But if you enjoy the process, then you can have a long life, you know, telling stories. Yeah. And going back to the beginning of the video, yeah. you know, why you matter and why it's important that you do what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be thinking like, maybe I'm not good enough, maybe I'm not special enough, and you are. Mm -hmm. You're born with everything you need, you're ready yes. as you are. Yeah. You know, we, we all have something to give, something to share. Yep. There is a bunch of people out there waiting for you, you know, to put out that little web series that mm -hmm. you wanted to, mm -hmm. to create, or that play in your friend's apartment. You know, maybe there's one person who's going to come and watch that play and, and they're going to feel like they had a life-changing experience. Yeah. You know, there's a bunch of people out there waiting for you to share whatever it is that you have with them. Yeah. You're a storyteller. Storytellers have changed history. And you, many of you have acted before. You wrote a play or you've directed something. And what you don't realize is somebody in that audience, you touch their heart with that story. And you change their life because of that. So, homework. Right. Homework. <laughs> Every day, do something. Create a little monologue, or you know, you can just download something from the internet. It doesn't need to be an original work. Um, do it with a friend. Get a scene. Sh you know, film it together. Uh, and if you don't like what you see, just delete it. Nobody needs to watch. You know, but then pat yourself on the back and say, "I've right. done more than a lot of people out there. A lot there of actors go. out there today." Yep. So, get it going.